Hello and welcome to this quick demonstration of Odoo WooCommerce Connector by Emipro. In this video, I will show you some of the most important features of the connector that will give you an idea of what the connector is capable of and how it can add value to your business. Before I begin, I just want to mention that I will only be covering a few features and not all the features and use cases of the connector to keep the demo quick and short. However, if you prefer to see a more detailed demonstration, especially the one that is personalized to your needs, I would recommend that you fill out the demo request form and one of our representatives will connect you and provide you with a demo that is tailored to your needs and preferences. All right, so to begin the demo, uh, when the app is installed on uh, your Odoo environment, you will see the icon on the dashboard uh, for the connector. And when you click on it, the very first screen on the connector that you will see is the WooCommerce dashboard or the connector dashboard. Now, the very first concept that I would like to talk about is instance creation. For the purpose of this demo, I have already created a WooCommerce instance, but let me explain you what an instance is. When you want to connect a WooCommerce store with Odoo, one WooCommerce store represents one instance in Odoo. So that means if you have multiple WooCommerce stores that you want to connect to a single Odoo database, you need to create one instance per WooCommerce store and all those instances will appear here on the dashboard. If you want to see how these instances are created, you can uh, review our user guide and you will find all the detailed steps. But for the purpose of the demo, I have already connected a demo WooCommerce store with Odoo. One of the most important and commonly used features of the connector is its ability to export products from Odoo to WooCommerce. So let's assume that you have all your product information available in Odoo and your WooCommerce store is brand new and blank. As you already have all your product information in Odoo, you do not want to manually recreate it in WooCommerce. The Odoo WooCommerce connector lets you export some or all of your product information along with its variants from Odoo to WooCommerce. Let me walk you through the steps. So first, I will go to the sales application. I'll go to the products menu and open all the products. Now, these are all your products present in Odoo. Now, you can choose to either export all these products or some of these products from Odoo to WooCommerce. So the first step is opening them in list view. And I can select the products which I want to export. I can choose either one or two of them or all of them depending on your needs. So for the purpose of this, uh, this demo, I'm going to uh, export all these products. So once I've selected these products, I'll go to action and select this option, WooCommerce export products. Now, when I click here, it asks me for an export method. I'll choose export in WooCommerce layer. I don't want to export it into a CSV file. I want to export it into a layer. I'll uh, quickly show you what a layer is. I'll click here and it also asks me to choose the instance. Um, earlier, we discussed that uh, the instance is uh, the store. So if you have multiple stores, you can select which particular store you want to export it to. So I can select the instance. I'll click on export product. Now, when I click this, it doesn't actually export the product directly to the WooCommerce store, but it sort of cre creates a layer here in the WooCommerce application in Odoo. So now if I go here and I click on products, all those products will be available here. So this is a layer product. Uh, what does a layer product mean? Odoo by default allows you to add certain information in its product, but WooCommerce has some fields which are different. So if you want to add those additional fields to the product before you export uh, this product from Odoo to WooCommerce, you can do that here in the layer. So let's say Odoo has uh, one single description field, but WooCommerce has two description fields. One is the regular description and the other is the short description. So if I want to add a regular description, let's say this is a bag and a short description, I'm just gonna write bag. Now I'll click on save. So that's how I can use the layer products. There are uh, many other information which you can see. There are also variant information if that's available. Uh, there are also images over here which are taken from the core product. Also, the purpose of layer product is that this is a version of the product which is specifically for WooCommerce. Sometimes it can happen that you have uh, more than one sales channel that you want to integrate. So you have a couple of online stores. You also sell on marketplaces. So a single product could be listed everywhere and when you list a single product single Odoo product on different sales channels 
you may want to set different descriptions or have different pricing or have even different names, which is possible with the help of this layer. So now I'll show you how to export this products directly to uh, WooCommerce from the layer. So I'm going to again select, I can uh, select some or all of them. Uh, here I'm going to select all of them. Uh, if you notice this uh, right now, this field is unchecked. It shows that these products are now prepared for export, but they aren't yet exported to uh, WooCommerce. So I'm going to select them. I will go to action and I will click on export new product in WooCommerce. So when I click here, another pop-up pop will open and it'll ask me if I want to set WooCommerce uh, price. So the product price is set in uh, Odoo and if I want to set uh, the same price in WooCommerce or not, if I want it, I can uh, check this. If I want to set images for the products, I can check that as well. This is optional. If you don't want, you can skip it. And if I directly want to publish it in the website, so when you export the product, it gets exported to the WooCommerce backend, the backend of your store. But if you also want to publish the product directly from here, you can do that as well. So if you want to publish it, you can publish it right from here. And then when I click on export products, what it's going to do is it's going to export products from Odoo to WooCommerce. It could take a couple of seconds, uh, depending upon uh, the product data or the volume um, uh, of the number of products that you want to export. But as soon as this operation is over, you will be able to see uh, all your products published from Odoo to WooCommerce. Right, so now uh, we're going to go to the WooCommerce store here. As you can see right now, in the back end, there are no products, but I'm going to refresh this as we have exported them and we are able to see all the products here. As you can see, all the four products are listed here. And if I open a product, let's say if I go to this product here and if I open the shirt product, this product actually has two variants. That's black and white shirt. And if I go here and if I open this product, I will also be able to uh, see variations listed here as well, white and black. So as you can see, the products are uh, successfully exported. Right now, for the purpose of this demo, I have uh, showcased the, the export product feature. But in addition to the export functionality, the connector also offers the functionality to import products from WooCommerce to Odoo. So if you have your product catalog set up on WooCommerce store and your Odoo database is blank, you can follow a similar process to import products from WooCommerce to Odoo. Um, and if you have product data available both on WooCommerce and on Odoo and you just want to synchronize them, you can do that as well. Now that we have exported these products, let us explore another feature of exporting or updating stock levels from Odoo to WooCommerce. So first I'll go to the sales application. I'll show you all the products. Now, as you can see, the quantity on hand, that is the stock level for all these products is zero. Now, what I want to do is before I update the stock levels, I want to add some stock of these products. So I will go to the purchase application. For the purpose of this demo, I have already created a purchase order and I've added some of the stock levels uh, of these products here in the purchase order. I'm going to receive these products into my warehouse. I'm going to validate the receipt. As soon as I've received the products, the stock for this product would be added to Odoo. So if I go here and I check here, I'll be able to see quantity on hand. Now, um, as you may know, Odoo uh, has two values for stocks, that is quantity on hand and forecasted quantity. The connectors configuration lets you choose whether you want to export quantity on hand or the forecasted quantity. So now let me show you how to export uh, the stock level of these products from Odoo to WooCommerce. I'll go to the WooCommerce application. On the dashboard, I can see the instance and this button perform operation. I'll click here, go to the operations menu and I will select export stock and click on the execute button. Now, depending upon uh, the number of products uh, in your catalog, it'll take a couple of seconds and uh, I suppose the stock would be exported now. So this is the WooCommerce backend. And as you can see, all the products are out of stock. Now I'm going to refresh this. And you will be able to see all the products and their stock levels uh, over here. So if there are variants, you will have variant level stocks. 
and if there are regular products you will be able to see the stocks here and uh, you know customers will be able to place the orders uh, for these products from commerce shop the next feature that i would like to demonstrate is uh, the most important feature of the connector that is import of orders from woocommerce to odoo now before i uh, place an order and show you the operation i would first like to mention that there are three different ways in which you can import orders from woocommerce to odoo the first way is through webhooks in simple words a webhook simply means the import of orders in real time so when an order comes in on woocommerce it is instantly imported into odoo the second way is through an automatic job which is configured in odoo in the connector so with an automatic job you can uh, set a scheduler that you want to import orders every 30 minutes or every 2 hours or every one day and the system will automatically import orders uh, at the set interval and the third option is to manually import orders with the click of a button so for the purpose of this demo i have activated the webhook and we're going to import the order in real time so this is the shop and i'll also uh, take you to the uh, odoo uh, the woocommerce dashboard and as you can see there are no orders right now here if i uh, go to sales and i go to orders uh, there are no orders over here so we will place an order on uh, the woocommerce shop i'm going to add a few products to the cart now that i've added some of the products to the cart i will uh, go ahead and uh, process with the checkout so i've entered some of the billing information here and i will select cash on delivery as the payment method and i'll go ahead and place the order this is the customer information now remember that along with the order the customer information will also be fetched into odoo so you uh, whenever a new customer places an order and enters their information such as name address or phone number or email address uh, when the order is fetched into odoo along with that the information of the customer will also be fetched into odoo so let's go ahead and place this order as you can see the order is placed on the woocommerce shop and the order number is 1367 first i'll take you here on the woocommerce backend to see the order we'll go here and orders and as you can see 1367 order is here it's in the processing stage now let's go to odoo let's go to sales click on order as you can see in real time 1367 order along with all the details is imported here So this is how the import of orders work. You can, uh, with the help of some configurations, you can choose whether you want to import order as a quotation or as a sale order, or if you want to automatically create and validate invoice. Uh, but I'm not going to demonstrate all those features in this demo. But it's all possible in the configuration. Now that we have imported this order into Odoo, uh, and as you saw, the order is in processing stage here on WooCommerce. so i'll show you it's in the processing stage and what we're going to do is we're going to take care of the fulfillment of this order uh, from odoo so as you can see the delivery is already created so i'm going to go here and i will validate this delivery order that means that i've completed uh, or dispatched uh, this particular order so i will click on validate and apply and now that i have uh, uh, you know completed this order in odoo what i want to do is i want to again update the order status from odoo to woocommerce so right now the order status is processing but what i want to do is mark it as completed so in order to do that i will uh, go to the dashboard click on perform operation go to the operation and from here I will uh, select update order shipping status because it's now shipped. Again on this list you have uh, uh, all the options available for uh, different operations which are possible. So right now we'll just update the order shipping status. I'll click on execute. And uh, again it'll take a couple of seconds. And now we'll go here and just refresh this page. And order 1367 is marked as completed. on the woocommerce as well 
so uh, that way we have imported the order and uh, updated the order status from odoo to woocommerce apart from this you can also cancel an order so let's say you've imported an order but um, for some reasons you want to cancel that order and you want to cancel it in woocommerce uh, but you can cancel an order from odoo to woocommerce so whenever you have a sales order in odoo uh, you have the option of canceling an order and also uh, marking the order as cancelled or refunded from odoo to woocommerce so that is also possible as i mentioned earlier uh, there is also a possibility of uh, running a scheduled action so even in terms of updating order details uh, or rather the order status uh, you can set a scheduled action which can run at a, cert a certain interval i'll quickly show you where you can find these uh, schedulers you can go to configurations instances you can select the instance and uh, go to configure scheduler and here you will be able to see three different schedulers you'll be able to see the scheduler for importing orders updating order status and exporting stock levels from odoo to woocommerce so these are the schedulers that you can see so this demo uh, provides you a very quick overview of uh, the features such as exporting the products uh, updating stock levels importing orders updating order status and setting the schedulers like i said there are many more features and there's a lot of other use cases that this connector can handle a lot of sellers across the globe are using this connector successfully and it's helping their business it's streamlining their operations and you too can take advantage of this for any further questions or queries feel free to reach out to us thank you